This genuinely is the first big break of the series, and I'm so excited. Yo, so it finally happened. I finally found a pair of shoes that was way underpriced and I can sell for way more. I've been waiting for this to happen for the last three episodes of the series and it literally hasn't happened yet and we finally got it. So this week we start things off with a sneaker bank or I guess a bank fund of $58.68, which is pretty solid. It's actually one of the best banks that we've had so far this entire uh, journey. And uh, the first stop I'm gonna hit is Plato's Closet. It's a different Plato's Closet than I usually hit because the Plato's Closet that I usually hit has kind of like stopped stocking um, sneakers that are worth reselling. So hitting up a new one, trying it out, hopefully it works out. So we're starting these off at Plato's Closet. Let's see what we can find. Got some champions. These Converse is kind of cool. You got like this cool like ombre effect. It's kind of sick actually. Over here we got some Stan Smiths in pretty decent condition for 35 bucks. That's about right, I'm gonna leave those. Got some Ultra Boosts right here for 40. Large size 13, probably move for about that actually. Got some second place sucks. <laughs> Metcons, I think, good on those. We got some, some Fila's, some Nike, what are these? I'm not sure actually, but I'm assuming basketball. Got some more Nikes, these are the Zoom, shoot, I'm not sure what these are, these are the Zoom Gravities for 20 it looks like, which is actually not bad. Maybe I'll check these guys out really quick. Looks like they're not really worth it, so let's leave these guys. Ooh, we got some 4Ds over here. A little dirty, but that's kind of crazy. A couple years ago, these would have been going for so much. They go for $18, that's insane. Let me check these guys out, because that's actually kind of a crazy find. So it looks like they might be a slower seller, but for that price, for 18 bucks, it might be worth it. The last one sold like probably two weeks ago, but there isn't a lot listed, so. It's kind of a risk, but I'm gonna grab it just in case, and then I'll decide before I leave. Still got these KDs here. Got some Air Maxes. What else? Some Reeboks, cool colors. Got these guys, I forget what they're called, but uh, oh, the, the PODs, that's what they are. <laughs> Yo, I thought these were standard 11s at first, but these look like the 11 Comforts. They're pretty heavily worn for 25 bucks. That might actually not be a terrible price. Let me check this guys out. Sales and prices on these seem really inconsistent, so I'm not gonna take the risk because they are a little bit more expensive. I mean, they're not expensive, but compared to some of the other sneakers I'm picking up today, so I'm gonna leave them for now. Oh shoot, over here we got the new KDs. Why are these brand new? For 45, that actually might be a deal. Let me check these guys out really quick. They are a size 14 though, so a larger size. Probably a slower mover, but worth checking out. Another tough one, a lot of pairs sold, but they're all new versus this one, which is used, so I guess I'll leave it. Shoot over here, we got a bin with some new stuff. Let's see. We got some 13s, some women's 13s for how much? 30. Got some NMDs, some Black Air Forces, some Vapor Maxes. How much are these Vapor Maxes going for? Vapor Maxes tend to do pretty well. 45, yeah. I'm good on those. All right, I think I'm gonna grab these. All right, so we did pick up a pair of sneakers today. We got the uh, the 4Ds. These are the 4D, um, I saw the name when I looked them up. I completely forgot, but we got these for $18. I think I can resell these for like 30 to 40, so hopefully a double up. That's that's the hope. Uh, we'll see if it actually happens. I know the sun's on my face now, uh, whatever. Regardless, <laughs> we got these, good price. Just have to clean them up a little bit. The outsole looks clean, but the upper's a little dingy, so I'm gonna scrub it, and then uh, we should be good to go. So, on to the next spot. Got some Campus 80s, got some New Balance 574s, got some Nikes, some Hirachi style things. You got the Asics, Asics are popping right now, but I don't think this particular shoe, actually maybe, shoot, no, I'm not gonna check that one out. I, don't, I really don't think it's gonna be worth anything. Some Reeboks, some Air Forces. Still got a bunch of these Pegasus, some Roshis. Got the all red Roshis. This is definitely an ID because it says Nicole Marie on the back. It's kind of funny. I like how they color coordinated everything. You got red to pink to blue white. It's clean. I dig it. These are the Nizzas from Adidas. Kind of cool to see these. But unfortunately, nothing on this side of the store today. So, I'm gonna leave everything. Some Jordan 1 Lowe's in here. Probably not worth 50. Got some Enjoys with a cool like print on the tongue. Nothing I want. Also, some Air Max 4s in a kid size. Okay, so nothing in the first half of the store. Let's check the back half, because they always seem to have crazy stuff in the back. Got some SF highs in white and red. 450. Got some of these Air Max Pluses. Pretty cool. We got some up tempos in a kid size. And then some uh, some new balances, but nothing nothing worth grabbing. Nothing like those LeBrons from a couple years ago or last year. Actually got this tiny Nike box right here. For four bucks. That's pretty cool. It's nothing in there though. Yeah, I know, but it's it's a sick box. I really oh. like it. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's crazy. I wonder what this is. For four bucks. I kind of want to grab this just because it's cool and it's old. I don't know. I'll probably leave it. So unfortunately, nothing at Circle Thrift, which, you know, 50-50 when you go there. But uh, I do have on these Ray-Ban, um, what are they called? The Meta Wayfarers, I think is what they're called. And uh, they actually record video, and I did a full video review on them on my second channel, my tech channel. If you guys want to check that out, there will be a link in the description below. But uh, actually pretty cool. Way better than last year's version, or last year's generation. So, yeah, I don't know. Click that link. Support the channel. Yo, really quick, I want to give a huge thank you to Soul Premise for sponsoring today's video. Now, I'm sure at this point you've probably heard me talk about Soul Premise before, and that's because they make some of the best sneaker bags out there. In fact, all of their bags, whether it's a backpack like this, or a duffel bag, or even some of their roller bags, they're all designed specifically for your sneakers. In fact, this particular backpack, which I travel with all the time, can hold up to five pairs of sneakers, depending on size. And of course, you have a laptop sleeve, and you can throw your clothing in there, and all sorts of good stuff. Plus, Soul Premise bags are TSA approved, which means you can bring them onto the airplane with you, rather than checking them underneath the airplane so you can keep your valuables safe with you. And as you guys will see in a couple seconds, I actually take a trip to Atlanta to do some thrifting and also do some sock stuff because you guys know me, I own a sock brand, I love socks. I'm always talking about socks. Uh, so I... <laughs> So dumb. And obviously, I brought my Soul Premise bag because I needed to bring my sneakers with me because those are the most important things. Clothing, whatever. I can rewear shirts. It doesn't matter. I need my sneakers. So if you want to check out Soul Premise for yourself, make sure to click the link in the top of the description below and use my code SET for 40% off your entire order. And with that being said, let's head to Atlanta. I think the best of Atlanta is. Right there. Oh, okay. crazy. That's so. Oh yeah, yeah. That's sick though. It looks dope. I've never seen it before. Sick. It's dope. It's really dope. They got the comm slides. Nice. Very nice. That's crazy. Never thought I'd see these sitting. Yeah. Yeah. Firestarter 500s. 380s. That's wild. Okay, so we got some new balances here for 58, some Pharrells. For how much? 65. Some Jordan 1s, 75. Jordan 3s, cracked mid solo, 85. That's not a good deal. But cool to see these Jordan 3s, these true blues. Got some Versace's here for 60. Are these actually Versace's? I don't know if they're actually Versace's, but they are chain reactions. We got some What the 5s here for 75, but a shoe that not that clean. So probably not worth pickup. I don't think it would move either. Hold up, are these some? Off-white dunks. Now, I'm gonna be honest, these are a little sus. They're not looking too legit. They're definitely not. Look at that. Look at that crease, that squeeze right there. No, not legit, but if these were, these are 50 of 50, these would have been crazy. But look at that, I've never seen the sole squish like that before. That's nuts. You got anything? Nothing? You got anything? Woo, that's clean. That is clean. That's dope. That's really dope. How much is it going for? This one's $8. Eight no. Uh, like you mean $80 and 50 <laughs> On foot today, we've got the Nike Dunks with the Apothecary Halloween socks. Very clean. And of course, the Apothecary shirt and hoodie. These are crazy. I've never seen these before. Mids. Pretty clean. Pretty clean. These New Balances are clean. you got the Yeezy Air Forces right here. First thing I'm seeing is this bin right here. We have, we've got some Pumas, got some Hoka's, a bunch of women's shoes in there. Got some pennies right here. Wow, the selection here is way better than my usual Play-Dohs. That's crazy. Got some Batman Reeboks, it looks like. Super large size. Some New Balance 327s. Some more Reeboks right here. A whole bunch of Vans. I don't think Vans really go for anything, at least not like the non-limited edition ones. Got some really interesting Ultra Boosts right here with hearts all of them. Valentine's Day Ultra Boosts. 
They look like they're barely worn for 40. Ooh, 40 is a lot for Ultra Boost. I'm not gonna even check them out because I don't think they're worth anything, but cool to see. Probably worth 40. Excuse me, would I be able to see those, those green and black Jordan ones yeah. right there? Awesome, thank you. Yo, so it finally happened. I finally found a pair of shoes that was way underpriced and I can sell for way more. I've been waiting for this to happen for the last three episodes of the series and it literally hasn't happened yet and we finally got it. It's this pair of Air Jordan 1 Lucky Greens in a women's size eight and a half. We grabbed the shoe for $35 and the condition on this shoe is ridiculous. There's like barely any heel drag. The shoe itself has a little bit of creasing but that's it. It's legit, um, at least from what I can tell. There's like a tiny bit of, um, Honestly, there's like not even any scuffing. I was gonna say there's a tiny bit of scuffing, but I don't even see that. I think that was just shadows. This is insane. Like this is a shoe that after checking it out on eBay, I think I could get like at least 80 to 100 for, maybe even 120. So great news, we actually ended up selling the Air Jordan 1 Lucky Greens that we just picked up almost instantly, it was crazy. So obviously we grabbed this pair of shoes from Plato's Closet for 35 bucks and I ended up being able to sell it on eBay for $107. So after fees, we were able to add $91.31 back into the bank, which is incredible, especially because we've been working on such low margins for so long. But that pretty much wraps up the video for today. Once again, huge thank you to Soul Premise for supporting the channel. Also, don't forget to check out the Rolex giveaway that we're doing at Apothecary. It's crazy. If you don't know about it, make sure to click the link underneath the Soul Premise link in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.